Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have two new sparrows here to unbox with you. They arrived on the same day. One of them is something that I bought for myself and one of them is something that my sister actually got me. So I'm going to unbox these but I'm going to do it in two separate videos since they are two separate leathers and two very different designs. So this is going to be part one of the unboxing and I'm going to unbox this one which is the one that I purchased for myself and then in the next video I'm going to unbox this one which is the one that my sister got me. So I'm going to scoot part two out of the way and we're going to focus on this one. If you caught my unboxing of Derby, you know that I really loved this limited edition leather. It is a combination of two of my favorite leathers, Outlander and Enchanted Woods, and to me it is the perfect mash of my two specific favorites from each of those lines, Outlander Claire and the Evanwood from the Enchanted Woods collection, and I really think it's just gorgeous. So I decided that I needed to get another derby. And I kind of used you guys as an excuse for buying because I decided that I would buy it in the B6 Slim so that I could show you the differences in the folios from the original B6 Slim design to this new B6 Slim design and the size differences and all of that. So I kind of used you guys as an excuse, but who am I kidding? I really just wanted to buy this notebook. But I'm going to open it up and we're going to check it out. So this is the envelope. You guys are super familiar with that now. If you watch my channel with our postcard that talks about full grain leather and all of its characteristics. And then inside a packing slip with any order notes. I did put order notes in this order, but they are not guaranteed. So we will see if I got them, but I did put wrinkles and fat rolls galore, please moles, scars, and unique markings too. So that is my order notes in my packing slip. And then this is the sticker. This is a new sticker. I really like this. I hope I get another one of these. That way I can hoard one and I can use the other one. But I'm going to set this aside and we're going to open up my new cover. So this is the B6 Slim Folio in the new design. If you watched my other folio unboxing of Giovanni, you know that they have changed the folio designs and I will walk you through that. And so this is the new design. Oh, it has wrinkles and some scarring. Wow. It is so pretty. Look at that. So gorgeous. This leather smells so good. It's like walking into a Lucchese boot store. That's what it reminds me of. Inside. So this is my new B6 Slim Folio, and I thought while I have you and I'm unboxing this gorgeous beauty, we would go over some of the changes from the other B6 Slim design to this one and how things fit. Just a quick little test for you. If there's something that you want to see specifically that I don't show on this, just let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely add it to my list, and I will either do a secondary video or I will do something over on Instagram at justscribble.yt. But this is the new folio design. So it is two basic slip pockets, like a book cover, and then it has an elastic closure. The elastic closure is a default on the folios, so it automatically comes with that. There is not an option to opt in or opt out of the elastic closure right now. That's always subject to change, but the listings right now, it automatically comes with that, and they do have a barb here that holds your elastic nice and flush against your notebook. I do have a video on how to put barbs onto your traveler's notebooks and folios. So if you have notebooks that don't have it, you can check out that video. I'll put a card up above and you can see how to do that yourself because I've been doing that for quite a while. But that is the design. It is very simple and basic and straightforward. All of the folios, A6, the week's cover, which is now considered a folio, the B6 Slim, B6, and A5. Those are the five folio sizes that they offer. They all come in this exact same design. So the sizing will be different, but it will have the two slip pockets, the elastic closure, the burnished edge, and the stitching. And that is it. That is the folio design. There's several reasons why they changed and simplified the design. Some is just customer feedback. People really wanted a more streamlined design. It's also more cost effective than the previous B6 Slim design that they had, which I'm going to show you in just a second, because it does use less leather and it also makes it easier for you to slip your notebooks in and out. Some, some people struggled with the original B6 Slim folio design. I did not, but some people did. And it also enabled them to make all of the folios in the same design so that it just helps with production, listings, and all of that. 
I like this design. I prefer this one. I am in love with the original B6 Slim Folio design. I just think it was super unique and it was so beautiful, but I understand the changes and they don't bother me whatsoever. It's just that this is definitely my preferred design. So I thought I would show you the design changes so that you could kind of see the differences. So this was the original B6 Slim Folio design. This one had the add-on of elastic, but it is three layers of leather, but it was still super, super thin. So this one is actually March Hare, but you can see even though it was three layers of leather, it is very, very thin because they did skip the leather to make this design. And it had a full piece of leather on the exterior and then a full piece of leather on the interior. So they were flesh to flesh and then the pockets. So it was three layers where the pockets are that you slip your notebook into, and then two layers here. And then it had this beautiful fold over design where the leather would be folded over and stitched down. There was no glue used to hold this notebook together when they would stitch it. The fold over design allowed them to not have to use any glue to hold it down. And it was absolutely gorgeous. And it was also the perfect fit, I mean perfect fit, to the Nanamake Paper Cafe Notes B6 Slum, which is my primary notebook that I use inside these folios. Some people wanted to be able to use the Jibun Techo in theirs, and it actually fits, at least in mine. I had no problem fitting the Jibun Techo in this folio design, but some people did. And part of it I think is different leathers fit differently because some are looser and some stretch a little bit better. And also because these are handmade, there's always slight, very, very tiny differences in sizing from one notebook to the next. There's always that potential for there to be a slight difference. So in the new design, they did make the folio slightly larger. So if you can see that, it is slightly taller about a quarter of an inch between the stitching from the old to the new to allow the jaboon to slide in there and a better and have a better fit. So this is the Naname paper and I'm gonna slip it in here so you guys can see what it looked like. And then I will move it into the new folio and let you see what it looked like. And so this is how the Naname paper fit in the previous folio design. Now, take it back out. It slides in here and then it slides in the back. And there's extra space. So as you can see, it's a roomier fit in there because now it is made to allow the Jibun Techo to fit without any issues. I prefer the sizing of the old B6 Slim Folio, to be honest, partly because I don't use the Jibun Techo, but I also had no problem fitting it into my notebooks. And so I preferred the slimmer tighter fit that was perfect fit for this notebook because this is what I use it for. But I know a lot of people love Jaboon and they use it as their planner and I understand them wanting to design something that allowed it to fit better so that the people that do use that planner have a happier experience with their sparrows. Let me grab, this is another B6 Slim Folio from Chic Sparrow. And so you can see that my Naname paper is the absolute perfect fit there. And you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap, and so it will move around some. So I will not be using this folio probably for this particular notebook. I will keep it in the old style, but I did want to have a new one so that I could show you guys the style fit, and also in case I wanted to use a Jibun Techo or a notebook that is sized in that size, I would have one readily available. Let me grab my Jibun so I can show you because although I don't use it, I do own it. So hold on one second. So I do have the regular Jaboon from last year or the year before, but for some reason I cannot figure out where I stuck it. So for right now, I have pulled out the mini, the light mini diary. This is from 2020. This was a different design for them because it had an affixed soft cover, kind of like the sneaker weeks. And so it had this kind of extra lip around the edges making it more difficult to fit into some covers. Then I have the mini days. 
This one is a daily planner. This is a 2021 planner. I do plan to do a little video on this because I'm actually probably not keeping it. And I thought someone might be interested in purchasing it. So I wanted to share it. But it comes in the little clear plastic cover that you can carry it in with the pen loop attached and all of that. And it comes in two notebooks. So you get the first half of the year and the clear cover, and then you get a second notebook that has the second half of the year. And on its own, the six month daily notebook is about the same size as the regular Jaboon for the whole year where it is a weekly planner and the same style where it is basically an insert type notebook that you put into a cover. So I was going to show you guys how those both fit. I actually don't know if this light mini diary is going to fit or not because it does have that little extra lip, but I thought we would test it out and see. And it does. I have not broken up any of the glue that may be inside here, so it might be a little bit harder to get it in than it would normally. But it seems to go in pretty easily. I could probably get it in a little bit better if I did loosen up the glue that might be inside there. But that is kind of what it would look like. I would definitely need to try to loosen it up some to put it in both sides, but I'm not sure that it would fit perfectly because of that little lip. So your options are to loosen up the glue with a butter knife or a letter opener and try to get it back inside there a little bit more or to trim this teeny little excess, if you can see that there. If you trimmed that, then your notebook would fit into the folio nicely. But it wasn't really designed to fit this planner. It was designed to fit their normal planner that is more like an insert type notebook the one that doesn't have an existing cover where you could carry it on its own without something around it. It was designed to fit this. So I'm going to slip that in and it slips in no problem, no fuss, no muss, like it was made for it because it was. And then the front cover likewise slides in there and let me move that little string out of the way. And that is your Jaboon fit. I'll try to find my other one that is the weekly planner, but it is the same size. So it will fit the same as this and it would look like that. It is a perfect fit. So if you are using the daily planner or you're using their weekly planner, this is a great cover for that. Like absolutely perfect and gorgeous. This leather is so, so, so pretty. And then while I had you, I thought I would show you guys this leather compared to Outlander Claire. This is my week's cover from Outlander Claire in the original week's design. So now the design is different, but I don't use this for Hobonichi weeks because I don't like the weeks. I used it for quite a while actually. And I kept trying to force it to be the planner for me and it was not, but I do use this with weeks sized inserts from Paper Penguin that I use for swatching samples. So I use it for pen samples, washi samples, stamp samples, things like that. And the original design had a slip pocket in the back, to put your weeks into. It had elastic in the center and then the slip pocket in the front. And so you could technically put your weeks in like a book, but most people put it just in the back. And then they use the elastic for a dashboard to have storage or for a wallet insert or for another insert, something like that. And then you had your front pocket. It works well for me because I have these three notebooks in there and they fit perfectly. But in the new design, it is literally just a slip pocket like this in the front and back. There's no longer an interior elastic inside, so you won't have any elastic on the spine and it just has the closure elastic. So that is kind of the change for the week's cover, if you were curious. But this is Derby next to Claire. So you can see the Derby has less red and copper undertones to it. It is a little more chocolatey and it is absolutely gorgeous. Claire will always have my heart, but this leather is so gorgeous and it smells so good. It has less of a slick finish to it than Claire does. It's more of a matte finish, so less of a shine and it feels different because of that when you touch it. This is much slicker. So that is my Derby B6 Slim Folio in the new folio design, just to show you guys that the differences, the size fit, and also the color in comparison to Claire. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.